your power rankings. Man. All right, all right. Uh, you've got the 49ers and the Eagles at one and two. Absolutely. Um, I I agree. I think the 49ers are better. I have the Eagles at uh, three. I have the Chiefs at two. Um, okay. Between the Niners and the Eagles, though, because this is what's interesting. Last year, they played in in the championship game. The Eagles completely dominated them. Yes. And yet, this year, everyone seems to agree the Niners are a better team. What's changed, in your opinion? Well, in my opinion, I, me personally, I think the Eagles are better than the 49ers. But I think if you look at statistically... Well, hold on, because you have... The no, 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 no. I think, this is, I think this is rational to speak. Rational, okay. Like, rationally. I think me personally, after watching the Eagles play the Bucks last, um, last night... I think the Eagles are better. I like the Eagles' defense a lot. I like the offense a lot. But I also have one thing, and this is why I also put them at two, and why I think, although I personally like them better as the number one, I see them at number two. Offensively speaking, they can go down the field, but they're just like the Seahawks when they played the Panthers on Sunday. They couldn't really convert some of those touchdown opportunities. And I saw it against the Bucks, and I feel like a defense, like if you play the Niners and the Eagles play, I feel like it would be really easy for the Eagles to get to that midfield point, but to put it in for a touchdown may be a little harder for them. And so that's why I have the Niners as the number one, because I think personally they're more well-built, just a little better than the Eagles, but I personally would put the Eagles above. Just, just seeing how they play, they're just really dominant of just pushing down the field. That's that's my personal opinion. Yeah, I, I I tend to agree. I think the Niners are they're they're both such physical teams, and they're the two teams that scare me the most. The the, the, the Seahawks. Yeah. We have a four game stretch. It's Niners at home, then it's Cowboys on the road. So uh, Niners at home on Thanksgiving Thursday. That's I think crazy. we will win that game. Then it's Cowboys on the road the next Thursday. I think that's a that could go either way. But then it's. Niners in San Francisco, and then right after that, the very next week, we have to go to Philadelphia. I th- I think we I think the best case scenario for the Seahawks is to go two and two during those four. Um, I, that would be amazing if we could go if we could win three. I'd be the happiest man in the world. If we win one, I would totally understand. But that's I mean these are two teams that just physical the heck out of you, mm-hmm. but. Last year, the difference was the quarterback, and right now, I think Brock Purdy's right there. I, th- I don't see the difference in quarterback anymore. I think you give Brock Purdy a couple years, he definitely will turn into a Brady. He'll turn into someone who's really a threat. Yeah. He's going to kill you on the defense. Uh, totally your agree. defense. I think right now, it's just this is going to be his first full season, and we just got to wait to see what he does, but I can definitely see it. I see the mystery relevant Brock Purdy come in and become that next Brady for the 49ers. And to me, that is just scary. It's It scares me the most. I I think, for, I, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I think Brock Purdy, when it's all said and done, we're gonna walk away from the league with at least three rings. I think three rings is very reasonable. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna I say, think, I think, I'm not gonna go out and say any more than three, because it's tough to win more than three. But yeah. I think he could, and with the roster he has, the coach, great coach, everything is perfect All the for weapons. him to win. McCaffrey, who is now the second best running back in the league, because Raheem Mostert is uh, all of a sudden the best back in the league. I don't know if that lasts. I don't think. I don't no, know no, if that no, lasts no. the whole season. I, I think but. McCaffrey's still the best. Well, running for, back. for this year, I'm saying, the first three weeks. For the first three, you I can't still, argue against four touchdowns in one game. That is true, that's but that's pretty. pretty, pretty that's a one game performance, and McCaffrey's yeah. done it for three weeks straight. And I think, what, he had a touchdown in every game? That's consistency right there. So I still put McCaffrey number one. Because we'll have Buster was a former Niner. They just, also find, they just find running backs. They I think them. they're just one of those teams in the NFL, the Cowboys, the Niners, Steelers. I am probably think I, I, those are the three teams off the top of my head. They just find talent. Yeah, and it's just do. hard for them to not find talent because they, they always will. So I want to.